Hi everyone. Today we are starting our fourth dynamic programming algorithm and this is on the coin changing problem. Now, I think this is probably the easiest uh, dynamic programming tutorial and it will take at least really like five to, t five to six minutes or something. So well, let's get on with it. Now the coin changing problem requires that you have like coin changes in coin you have like 15 coins and then uh, sorry 15 15 dollar worth of coins uh, and then you have to make changes for it and you have to divide the changes in such a way that you have the least number of changes required for that uh, for that amount of coin like for example uh, there are like the coin denominations given here is 12 5 and 1 and amount to change that the amount the the dollar that you have to change is 15 dollars now for for this we can change it in this way that you have to, you can take 15 one dollar uh, coins and make it 15 dollar but then that will take like 15 coins altogether and do you want to give 15 coins to a shopkeeper with uh, with the change of one one dollar now that would look really lame and stupid because that would mean that the shopkeeper would think that you have just one dollar uh, coins only now and another option is that you could take three five dollar coins and then make fifteen dollar in that way make a change in that way or you could use one uh, you could use twelve dollar coins and you could use three one dollar coins and you could make and with altogether four coins you can make a fifteen dollar coin now still that would take four coins and this would take three coins so this is the optimal solution in this case now let's look at the algorithm uh, yeah so the algorithm is this is that when p equals zero that time it's zero the opt optimum solution that is the minimum number of coins required is zero but Otherwise, when p is greater than zero, that time you take you use this formula. Now let's look at the simulation. You'll understand what this formula means in a bit. Okay, so for these are the set of coins given. Two, two. You have two dollars. You have four dollars, and you have six dollars. Now you have to make up to eight dollars. You have to make the uh, change for eight dollars. So let's look at the simulation first. Let's look at for 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 the let's look at the table. There is base case given that is when p equals zero, the optimum p optimum solution is zero. The minimum number of coins required is zero. So this is the base case, and for one also it will be zero because the set of coins start from two and then four and then six. So also for one you have zero because you have no uh, change for one dollar. You, you have to just you have to just give two dollars and one dollar you'll get back as a change from the shopkeeper, but. For, uh, you don't have any one dollar coin on its own for two dollar you can just give one coin and uh, you could just give uh, two uh, you can just give one coin the minimum number of coins is one and you have to give the two dollar coin now how did we compute this let's look at the uh, simulation here opt p opt 2 is uh, we get it by using this formula min of 1 plus opt p minus ci p is 2 here because we have gone till 2 only so 2 minus ci, ci is c1 because we have just reached till this. When we reach 4, that time we can use 2 and 4. When we reach 6, that time we can use all 3 sets of coins. Now since we have reached just the first set of coins, so we just use 2. Now And then for, uh, so this is for 2 and then let's compute the one for opt 3. For opt 3, it will be like this. Opt three is mean equal mean of one plus opt three minus c one. Now mean the mean thingy is not being used right now. It will come to use when we when we go to the other sets of coins since we are just using one set of coin. That's why. Oh, oops. Yeah, since we are just using one set of coin, that's why it's like this. All right. So for uh, opt three, it will be one plus opt. Uh, yeah. So it will be one plus opt. Five, uh, yeah, three minus C one, three minus C one, three minus two. So three minus two, one plus opt three minus two, which is one plus opt of one. And opt of one, we know that opt of one is zero. So one plus zero is one. So the minimum of one, uh, there's just one number. That's why there's just one will be the answer. So opt is one. And for this, we just need two dollar, two dollar coins. Because we don't have any change for one dollar coin, so we just have one change for it, and then you just have to manage and tell the shopkeeper that well, you want three dollars, well I just have two dollar coins. You can't, I can't give you the other one, so just keep, uh, just uh, bear with me for the change. 
anyway for the fourth one when you have four you can like in your mind you can think that yeah you can just take two two dollar coins or you can just take one four dollar coin which you already have so we could just use this one because we're using for the we're trying to minimize the number of changes that's why we're going to use this one so how did we compute this mean of one opt is now four uh, so p is now four so p minus c1 and then comma we have one plus opt four minus p minus c2 because we have reached to four so we can use these two denominations these two uh, sets uh, these two coins set together b1 i mean c1 and c2 so we just try for c1 and we just try for c2 and then we compute so one plus opt four minus two and one plus opt four minus four and then one plus opt two is opt two is one and one plus opt uh, zero is zero so so one plus opt two is one so one plus one and one plus zero so the minimum of two and one is one so the you know, so the opt for four is one all right and the total optimal set of coins is four because we just since we're just taking one coin so four is the optimal solution four is the number uh, the coin that we're taking all right for five five also we do the same thing since we just reached two and four we can't use the six uh, the c3 yet because we can only use it after we reach six the sixth table all right Okay, so uh, 1 plus opt 5 minus C1 and then 1 plus opt 5 minus C2. So 5 minus C1 is, what? what is C1? C1 is 2. So 5 minus 2 and C2 is 4. So 5 minus 4. So 1 plus opt 3. Opt 3 is 1. So we use this one, opt 3, 1. And then 1 plus opt 1, opt 1 is 0. So 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 0. So again, the minimum between these, these two numbers is 1. All right, for six, now that we have reached six, let's look at the algorithm now. Uh, one plus of C1, six minus C1, that means P minus C1, CI, so six minus C1, and then one plus of six minus C2, and one plus of six minus C3. So we do the same thing, one plus of six minus two, C1 is, uh, what you call two, and C2 is four, and C3 is six. And then one plus of four, we look at the table, of four is one, 1 plus op 2, op 2 is two, uh, uh, 1 again, and opt 0 is 0. So we try to find the minimum between 2, 2, and 1, which is 1. So we just use 1, dot one coin for this. Uh, we just give the $6 coin to the shopkeeper. So that's why we just use one denomination. Like I said, we're trying to minimize the number of denominations. All right, for uh, the seventh one, the seventh coin, we do the same thing again. Well, the tutorials just goes this way. I mean, I, now I think after showing you a few examples, you can do the compute the rest. Let's look at the seventh one. Uh, seventh one is, all right, let's look at the eighth one instead because seventh one is quite easy. Let's look at the eighth one, the last one, what we have to do with the last, when you reach the last coin that we're trying to change, uh, to find changes of. So eight minus C1, eight minus C2, eight minus C3. One plus opt eight minus two, C1 is two. C2 is 4 and C3 is 6. So opt 6 is 1, opt 4 is 1, and opt 2 is also 1. So 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. So the minimum for these three is just 2 itself. Now 8 can be broken down into two denominations by using 6 plus 2, eight, uh, six, seven, uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, or 4 plus 4. We can just use two $4 coins or we can just use one $2 coin and one $6 coin. It doesn't matter, you can use any, you can use any solution because since both of these solutions will give you two, two, two coins, I mean just two denominations, the two optimal set of coins, you can just choose any. For this, for this example, we have just chosen two four dollar coins. Alright, so this is was this was basically the whole tutorial. I think this was, like I said, the easiest of all the dynamic programming algorithms. I hope you understood the explanation. And please uh, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, well, good luck.